END here. Day 2 for the spoilers of Commander Masters. Honestly, the cards being spoiled, including those of today, are gorgeous, but I don't think justifies the cost of a 24-pack set booster box. For $100, nearly 400 euro, it's too much. Anyway, let's start. And I want to start with Colossus Redmo. Obviously, this is a fake, but considering that Colossus Redmo is a fan favorite, I wouldn't be surprised if Wizards of the Coast reprinted at Mythic Rarity. <laughs> The 5 Jumpstar Strifing Lens, these are real, they are not fake, and I believe it's a nice lens cycle to be reprinted. Some good valuable reprints for white, Grand Abolisher, Arms Collector and Angelic Field Marshal, the 3 cards have an average value between 10 to 20 dollars. The color blue, who doesn't love blue, Fairy Artisans, Storm Surge Kraken, and Cyclonic Rift, yes Cyclonic Rift will be reprinted in Commander Masters and I wonder how much further the value of this card will be shattered. More reprints for blue, Mystic Confluence, Aminatus Augury, Lortus the Tide Maker, Torrential Gearhawk which was downgraded from Mythic to Rare, Psy Master Top Tourist, and Commandeer, a nice reprint from Cold Snap. The color black, Gold Color Gissa, a nice commander if you are running zombies, Wake the Dead, Kindred Dominance, and Resh Confluence. It seems that this particular Confluence cycle will get a full reprint in this particular set. The Color Red, Star of Extinction from Ixalan, another downgrade from Mythic to Rare, Ashling the Pilgrim, Godo Bandit Warlord, Darith Scrap 7, another downgrade from Mythic to Rare, Magus of the Wheel, Avatar of Slaughter, Nesting Dragon, Heartless Hitotsuko, the original Hitotsuko from Kamigawa, and Fiery Confluence. Told you this Confluence card will get a full reprint in Commander Masters. The Color Green, Heroic Intervention, a very strong Commander card, Obscuring Haze, Oran Frostfang, and Galta Primal Hunger. The biggest dinosaur from Ixalan is getting reprinted. The multicolor cards, Experimental Cry, one of the best Ooze Commanders out there, and Nekuzer the Mind Racer. It's a pity that this card is currently available as a secret lair, that is temporary, metal is forever. Told you that Summer 2023 Super Drop is not worth it. Artifacts, Chromatic Lantern, a very strong commander card, especially if you run a 5 color commander, Boompai, and Champion's Helm. Mythic cards, Morophone the Bountless, one of the best legendary creatures you can have, especially if you run a deck full of multicolor spells. Extra Printer Lens from Merodin, this will be the first time that this card will get a major reprint. Archfiend of Despair from Battlebond, is there a card from Battlebond that is not getting a reprint? Every good card from Battlebond has been reprinted. The Immortal Sun from Rivals of Ixalan, a very good card, especially if you face a Planeswalker deck. Last but not least, Finale of Devastation from War of the Spark. It's a nice way to devastate the pockets of players and collectors. So that was the last card in this particular day 2 of the Spires of Commander Masters. Told you these are all reprints, therefore I'm not going into that much of detail. Join me tomorrow for another day full of spoilers of this very expensive set. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more videos about Magic the Gathering and the Collectible World.